Yes, you guys. She right. I'm back in City Med. Bruh. But, but it's not because I think I got a UTI. It's because I'm making sure I don't have a UTI. Well, listen. I got... They miss you. They don't miss me. Yes, they do. They probably do miss me because I'm gorgeous. But I'm here be- <laughs> Damn, Greg. Someone thinks highly of themselves. Very highly. But I'm here because I'm going on my first road trip with my brother and maybe my cousin to PA. And I want to make sure I drive a UTI. So if I have a UTI, then I can't go. Like, put like this. The road trip is coming up shortly. It's going to be in the next vlog. And if the day that I decide I want to go on this road trip, I'm pissed in blood. What the f- I can't go. Or I don't want to go out there. And I realized, oh, I got a UTI, I should have checked. So, I'm here today to make sure I don't got a UTI. So, I'm sitting down relaxing. Greg has a pocket full of piss. You stupid. Yeah. Man's walking around with a pocket full of piss. Want to show him the piss? Oh, hell no. Don't show him the piss, Greg. Yo, matter of fact, that remind me of that person that wrote in one of my videos that said, Greg, Greg be taking the piss out of you. Well, I'm not carrying piss. I'm carrying lemonade. You just have to drink it, then. Drink it. Go ahead. I'm not thirsty. Go ahead. Disgusting. I'm not thirsty. But I'm going to catch you guys when I get out of here because I got something to tell you, man. Me and this scammer got into it. How, Sway? And you won't guess how we got into it. Let's just you said say. You were handsome? Something like that. So you found out you were wrong? No. I'll tell you guys what I told this camera when I get out of here. Man, that was the fastest trip to City MD of my life. Like, when I say the fastest, I got in, when y'all saw me just talking, and then like 10 minutes later, I'm out. Like, boom, bang, boom, all done. But yo, what I gotta tell y'all is about this damn group that I'm in on this on Facebook. For years, I just, I didn't want to join none of these Facebook groups, you know, about being paralyzed and all that stuff. You know, I just wanted to, you know, do my own thing. I decided to join the group, and now I'm noticing that maybe it was a bad idea joining this particular group. So the group that I joined is, whoa, Greg, I'm going around. I, I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I realize oh. when you said whoa. Hell no. That joint. That great. What the hell? What the hell? Car double parked. Good thing I got hyperspeed on my damn wheelchair. Oh, shit. But yeah, so I'm thinking it was kind of not a good idea to join this damn group because in this group, there's a lot of freaking scammers. And when I talk about a lot of scammers, I mean a lot of scammers. I got two stories for y'all. So, I posted something in this group, right? And this is what I posted. Aww. Yeah, you know, I'm expecting people to, you know, just hit me up, converse, talk about oh your knees are so adorable this down the third right they did they definitely did but then i got this one scammer well she tried to pose like she wasn't a scammer she hit me up and she tells me oh add me and i'm like no you add me because i already knew off the jump she was a scammer so i'm like i bet she's gonna add me and i'm gonna find out if she really was a scammer Tell me why I found out all right. So after she added me, she hits me up in the DMs, right? And we're talking. So I start to say wild, crazy stuff as soon as she started to talk. Matter of fact, check out what she wrote. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, girl. Yeah. I started to troll her straight off the bat, calling her ugly, and the funny thing is, I was not expecting her to, you know, hit me up the way she wanted to hit me up, 
I thought she was just going to, you know, straight up ask for money. No, she was selling, as you saw, straight for dusty. A little nasty. Straight for dusty. So, I decided to have some fun. And I started saying the wildest stuff I could possibly think of. And you know what? This scammer has to be the most persistent scammer I have ever met in my entire life. Because this is how the conversation went. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> You stupid. <laughs> you serious? You're done. You're done. Really, Nick? Who mans is this? Get him the f out of here. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's more, because the conversation went even longer. This is the rest of the conversation. What? Stop the cap. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Ew! What the f So that was a f***ing lie. Bruh, chill. Nope. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, this scammer was about, was not taking no for an answer. And they was really trying to get my little bit of coin. Even after I told them that I know that they're a scammer. Now, after I finished with this damn scammer, putting them in their damn place, even though they just wouldn't take no for an answer, tell me why yesterday I ran into the dumbest scam. This dude was really trying to run this life. What the fuck you doing, dude? Move up! He's trying to, he's running the life. Like, yo. Wait for this guy. Thank you. Guy's an idiot. He trying to creep through the damn light. Idiot. I wanted to catch up to that dude. Idiot. Sorry about that, y'all. Some people are just straight idiots in these streets. But yeah, yesterday I ran into the stupidest scam. I have ever witnessed in this group and honestly I don't know if I should cancel this group or if I should just continue being in this group to just keep catching scammers and keep showing y'all these damn scammers but I go on Facebook and I see this picture of this nice little old, this nice lady with no arms and I'm like wow she's really pretty but she ain't got no arms but she's still pretty. So some just say, look at the picture carefully. So I look at the picture carefully. That's when I noticed the person in the picture was a damn celebrity. Bruh. So I'm like, I know this scammer did not just cut off the arms of some random Google picture and post in this damn group. That's exactly what they did. That is exactly what they did. Because I decided to take the picture and Google the picture and I found the original picture this was what I saw do me a favor please get out of here hey what the hell you doing what the f <laughs> and this was the original picture come on now dog how how did they think that was okay yeah they really went in on this Photoshop really went in so you know me I have to try to protect other paralyzed people I go into the group and I post this damn picture underneath the comment. 
underneath the um the original post. Hold on, Greg. Let me take my work here. Give me a second, y'all. Shut up. Or oh, better. But I post the original picture underneath the daggone original post. And already before I post it, I look at the comments and there's people saying, Oh my god, you're gorgeous. I would love I have a brother that was that's kind hearted that would love to talk to you. And somebody saying, Oh my god, you're so beautiful. I'm like people are really falling for this. Like this is crazy. People are really falling for these scam ass pictures. So I wrote underneath the, so I wrote underneath each one of those people's comments and said, yo, this is a scam. Look, I just posted the original picture. Before I can even take a screenshot, the scammer took the picture down. They took the post down. So I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Oh, butterfly. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And you know what? It's starting to really hurt my heart because as y'all saw, the first scammer was playing off the fact that people that are handicapped are lonely and that they might want some physical connection and they're trying to, you know, say they're going to sell their body. Like I didn't put the, the person's face up, the actual person's face because I'm pretty sure they stole that picture from somebody's Facebook, so I don't want to make them look crazy, but they really were trying, they're really preying on handicapped people being lonely, and that is really sad. That car sounds like a freaking thunderstorm, but they're really preying on the fact that Handicapped people are lonely. Handicapped people may need, may not have somebody in their corner. And scammers are just sick, disgusting people. He ain't lying. If you're a scammer, you're doing this, preying on handicapped people, preying on the elderly, you're just straight disgusting to be doing this to people because not everybody is as confident as I am or can spot the scam and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are getting caught like can you imagine if I gave them my disability money just to be scammed like that is really really sad and it, it truly hurts my heart that that happens. So, I don't know if I'm going to stay in this group and try to, like, expose more scammers. But there are a lot of scammers in this damn group. Man. Scammers, you're freaking disgusting. But... I'm on my way home from City Med. Uh, I'll catch y'all probably tomorrow. Yeah, I catch y'all tomorrow. I just wanted to let y'all dudes know about all these damn scammers out there in this world that's preying on all these handicapped people. It's just sad. Oh yeah, y'all. Next day, and I'm with Greg, right? We about to go to this store. This is the greatest store of all time. Stop the cow. I've never been to this store, but I heard nothing but great things about this store. And we go into it. It's better than Gucci. It's better than Louis. It's better than Cucho Pacucci. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the f I'm talking about. You must not go out much, do you? No, I don't. Aww. I'm very, I'm, I be in the house a lot. But I'm going to show y'all this store. And when y'all see this store, I want y'all to comment down below. I agree with you, bro. I agree with you. Because let me out on the corner. 
because this this store is a maze ball. Pull monitor. Oh my god. We at the bus stop. Gotta get out real fast. Before the bus come get me. Gotta adjust my wheelchair. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Getting out. Don't rush me, bus. Thank you. Thank you. Ah the bus! So I'm about to that show y'all. That was I was, I was running fast. Just finished the adjusting my wheelchair and I'm about to show y'all this store. You can only find this store inside the hood. If you don't live in the hood, you can't find this store. See you got got the garbage on the chairs, what? garbage on the floor. What the fuck? The store I'm talking about is Family Dollar. Wow! Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Don't judge me, Family Dollar is that store. Nope. Oh yeah. We are in Family Dollar. I didn't know it was the house. I haven't been in Family Dollar ever. Now that I'm in Family Dollar, I'm going to go shopping. Don't tell my mama because I'll be telling her I'm broke. Right, Greg? I tell my mama I'm broke all the damn time. Yo, let's go find some lace fronts for you. Ah, uh, you're teasing me, naughty, naughty. Greg, you are. Greg be insulting me, y'all. The disrespect is real. Yo, bro. Really? What? Bootleg Golden Smacks? <laughs> you see the Golden Smacks, but you don't see the bootleg fruit hoops. That's not fruit hoops. That's no, down. Hoops. Fruit hoops. Oh, no. Fruity hoops. Fruity hoops. <laughs> I, I like this store. Yo, city mini crunch. <laughs> All right. Where am I going? Excuse me. I gotta buy something from Family Dollar. Ooh, go down this aisle, Greg. You first. Yeah, I might find a lace front down this aisle. You stupid. Hold on. You find a lace front for, your, for that forehead, and man. Someone up there is looking, looking out for you. Greg, you'll be just, you just, uh, like, insulting me. Watch out, Greg. No, I'm not insulting you. No, I don't see no lace fronts. Then you gotta go to a beauty salon. I'm looking, looking for a lace front for you. I don't need no lace front. I got a hairline. It's up here. Go this, go this way. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Can't help me, sir. This guy's he's, he's attacking me. I found your owl. The puppy child owl. Mm -hmm. my, my hairline don't start from the back of my head. That's your... That is your only joke. It's the best one. <laughs> it's not. Anybody already know I ain't got no hair. Bruh. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. You got your, your all set like that. <laughs> I'm not your friend no more, Greg. <laughs> I'm not your friend. Oh, they got that Greg just be insulting me. When I just be trying to, I just be nice to Greg all the time. Y'all don't, y'all don't ever hear me insult Greg, right? So that was a f lie. You're the, you the older brother that I never wanted. I never said I wanted you as a little brother. I said you're the, you're the little brother I never had. So there you go. Don't say anything about wanting you. Hey, yo, go that way, Greg. Greg, they don't got nothing in Family Dollar. I'm starting to feel like people lied to me about this store. You know what? Maybe I should buy a bag full of Skittles and taste the rainbow. What did he say? <laughs>
What's down this aisle? Garfield. No, the real stuff is over here. Yes, but look, see the mini crunch. Had a Ronin. They had a room. They had to put the foot. Well, at least one bootleg up in there. Yo, we out of here, Greg. Let's go to Walgreens. Let's go to Dwayne Reed. We out. We out of this place. Y'all people lied to me. I thought this place was going to have some amazing stuff. Y'all straight lied to me. Liars. Let's go, Greg. So, reason why I'm over here by Family Dollar is because I'm going to chill with one of my homeboys who live around here. He lives in the hood. So, I'm outside today. Oh, snap. But I feel like you guys lied to me about all the amazing stuff that Family Dollar has. Because Family Dollar ain't had nothing not one thing that i wanted i can tell you that you have better chance at walmart or walgreens well i don't like walmart because i can't get nothing from walmart thank you i can't get nothing from walmart because i don't got no walmart pay stupid walmart you need walmart pay that's the dumbest thing ever. Man. I'll talk to you guys when I get to Rite Aid. Because they don't got nothing I want over here. So we made it to Rite Aid. Greg, we haven't been to Rite Aid in a little minute. I think they missed us here. Rite Aid? Yeah. They miss okay. us. Rerun. No. Rerun? What do you mean rerun? Same time, same time. Greg is old, y'all. We're going to bring joy into their heart. Hey, yo. We're going to warp their little minds. Warp their minds. I don't know what Greg be talking half the time. Oh, I think she got fired. Boom, boom, boom. We made it to Rite Aid. I know this store has stuff that I want. Psych! Because Family Dollar ain't had nothing. This is probably one of the last oh, Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Rite Aid? This is the right, last Rite Aid alive? Oh, thank you. She said she saw us all the way down there. We got here fast. Oh, yeah, because we be moving. Greg, I'm so upset. What happened? What happened to all the stuff that was on the shelf? This is a right here. Yeah, I One mean. of the last ones around. You know the one on Merrick? Gone. So, this store might be going cheap. What are they going to put here? Hooters? What? Is that an Amazon locker? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Greg. Here. They're probably going to put a Hooters here or a hard rock. Hooters? I can't go to Hooters. My girlfriend said it's not allowed for me to go to Hooters. Then go to a Hard Rock. So they got boobies there? No. They got boobies there? Yeah. I can't go there either. 1950s dresses. I can't like go there either. Scotch. They don't got nothing here either. You know where I'm going? They ain't even got no chips. Oh. Do they, do they, uh, you don't want them Cheetos no more. Grab those donuts right there, Greg. The chocolate donuts, the last one. You want this chocolate donut? Yeah, check the date on it though. They might be there for like ever. They might be here forever. Forever. Oh, you don't want to. Fuck! We out. We out. That's some old ass donuts. That's my ops, y'all. That's so dumb. That's my ops. He don't want nothing. He don't want no smoke. Stupid. My ops. I got beef in these streets.
real life beef in these streets. Oh, thank you. All right. We don't do that here. She said me. He's supposed to be the gentleman. She, she said. First. She said after you. So I said thank you kindly. He ain't lying. Shut up, Greg. You're making me look bad. <laughs> I can't stand Greg. Hold a dog, servant. I am your servant. My servant. It's hard to find good servants nowadays. Really, Nick? I don't like sandwiches. Oh, you don't like sandwiches? No. How about the knuckle behold the sandwich? How about I run over your toes? Good luck with that. <laughs> Yo, we going to key food. Like we going to key food. Be quiet, Greg. Because I want some donuts. I ain't had no donuts in like a long time. Mm -hmm. Yup. A chocolate hole. Okay. <laughs> Hey yo, this this day is not going the way I expected. I'm gonna need a new home attendant because this home attendant is saying some stuff that is like I ain't saying nothing about no stuff. Somebody please send help. My home attendant is like torturing me. Let me get out of his way. Gotta get away from this guy. Mm, that market stink. Yo, Greg. Kifu been here for like a million years and they just now started to upgrade it. date on that, Greg. It's the same date. June 3rd. Let me see if we got June 1st. June 2nd. Yo, check the dates on y'all donuts, y'all. Ooh, June 9th. June 9th. Good, let's go. The further you go back, see? June 9th. June 9th, let's go. Even though I'm gonna eat these, no. Even though I'm gonna eat these donuts all today, I want to make sure they're fresh. Yeah. Okay. I have a theory, y'all. Chase, if I use self checkout, right, and I scan my own item and bag my own item, shouldn't I get a discount, like an employee discount? Yeah. You don't have to work. We we need to we need to boycott. We need to boycott these stores with self checkout until they give us employee discount for doing our own the working. Excuse me. It's like a maze getting out of this place. I'm free. All right, y'all. So I just finished buying some donuts. I'm about to head to my homeboy house. We about to chill, and I catch you guys in the next one. You know, I catch you guys when I'm heading on my road trip. Oh yeah, that should be fun. But you already know. Later.